Hello, thank you for attending this talk on a mechanism for the deployment of kinetic umbrellas for coastal hazard adaptation. I am Xu Zi Wen from Princeton University. Kinetic umbrellas are four-sided hyperbolic paraboloidal or hyper shells inspired by the architecture of master builder Felix Kandel. Unlike traditional umbrellas that were designed by Kandel, we incorporate a hinge at the vertex, which allows for tilting. When kinetic umbrellas are placed adjacent to urbanized shorelines, they provide shade and shelter without limiting access to the coast, unlike a typical flood wall, for example. Due to the hinge, they can be deployed to form a physical barrier to protect communities from storm surge flooding. Hence, kinetic umbrellas are an example of adaptable architecture, which represent the amalgamation between structural art and coastal hazard engineering. This talk will focus on the mechanisms facilitating the deployment of these umbrellas. Before the kinematics of deployment can be analyzed, various geometric properties of the shell constituting its surface area, center of mass, and mass moment of inertia need to be derived as a function of its geometry. These geometric parameters are shown on the screen. The derivation of all equations will not be discussed in this talk, but instead are presented in full within our publication in engineering structures. The geometric properties are ultimately used to calculate the velocity at which the umbrella base contacts the ground at the end of deployment. This velocity is otherwise known as the contact velocity. The contact velocity can be controlled according to the conservation of energy, such that the change in gravitational potential energy of the center of mass is equal to the sum of the frictional dissipation, elastic spring energy, and the kinetic energy. As expected, it is the kinetic energy that dictates the contact velocity. In terms of the hinge, we propose the use of friction pads for energy dissipation. This design was inspired by rotational friction dampers that are adopted within certain steel seismic frames. The amount of energy dissipation can therefore be controlled by varying the size and number of the pads, the material of each pad, and of course, the total clamping stress at the hinge. We propose a spring tension rod to both absorb elastic spring energy and to trigger the deployment itself. This consists of a translational spring that is housed within a cylindrical chamber placed externally from the hinge as shown in the diagram. The spring compresses during deployment under the influence of gravity. And this rod can also be used to restore the deployed umbrella to its original upright position after a storm has passed. In addition, an elastic bearing strip can be placed along the base of the umbrellas to further reduce the force of impact as the umbrella completes its transition from the upright to the deployed configuration. The mechanisms of deployment are further explored through a case study where kinetic umbrellas are deployed in pairs of two with a single spring tension rod, as shown in the illustration. Each umbrella measures eight meters by eight meters in plan. They're constructed from 0.1 meter thick reinforced concrete and elevated by three meter tall concrete columns. Four brass friction pads are used in the hinge whereas a spring with a coil diameter of 250 millimeters is used to initiate deployment. A 1.4 meter square concrete cube is used to anchor the spring to the ground, and a 0.2 meter thick neoprene strip provides additional uh, damping at the base. The mechanisms of deployment 
are ultimately tuned to yield a contact velocity of two meters per second as the umbrella completes its transition. Note that the equations used to derive this contact velocity were also independently verified through dynamic finite element analysis using the software Abacus Explicit. To ensure that the panel is not damaged, the dynamic bending moment and shear forces are determined using the commercial finite element software, SAP2000. A maximum bending moment of 25 kilonewton meters per meter and shear force of 44 kilonewtons per meter were produced. A mesh of grade 80 reinforcing bars with a diameter of 12.7 millimeters that are spaced at 80 millimeters were assumed as the shell reinforcement. After calculating the static capacity, it is seen that both the moment and share capacity of the umbrella is in excess of the demand. Note that this approach is inherently conservative since the dynamic capacity of reinforced concrete is likely to be much greater than a static capacity we have calculated here. In conclusion, we propose a viable deployment mechanism for the deployment of kinetic umbrellas. This mechanism enables deployment without requiring external power and does not detract from the aesthetics of each hyper shell. The design and construction of prototype umbrellas can therefore commence, which will be the next step of this research. Thank you for attending this presentation.